At the end of the battle against House Wolfort, Lord Silvio of Tellior leaves the field defeated. The victors, however, do not go by unscathed. Repeated battles taking their toll on the soldiers. All goes according to Gustadolf's plan to weaken both houses. Landroy Falks, Lord of the Third of Glenbrook's High Houses, faces off against General of Laura. survive. Somehow, I must survive. Ah! Escaping all on your own, I see. Rufus, what are you doing here? I came to collect my reward. Reward? Since when were losers ever rewarded? I remember our deal differently. As do I. I was promised an invincible executioner. You are nothing but a fraud. A sheep in wolf's clothing. <laughs> What's so funny? I have a new deal for you. Pay me what I'm owed or die. I cannot give you what I do not possess. But if you kill me now, you will have lost to Wolfwart with nothing to show for it. Mm. Go on. If you let me live, on the other hand, I will find the coin to pay you. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Fine. But if I don't get that money, Consider your life forfeit. Far too much blood has been spilled. I know how loyal you were to the late King Regna. We may be enemies, but you still have my respect. I would invite you to join our ranks. <laughs> you would dishonor me so. I prefer it to your death. Save your pity for someone who needs it. Your master will never have our loyalty, even if it means the end of the three high houses. <sighs> Your Majesty, I serve you even in death. His plot foiled and bested in battle by House Wolford, Silvio Tellior flees, leaving everything behind. House Falks fights valiantly, but ultimately loses to General of Laura's army and joins their late king in death. Of Glenbrook's three high houses, Wolfort, Tellior, and Fox, two are felled by the Iron Hammer of Esfrost. House Wolfort now stands alone, in more peril than ever.
So, two of Glenbrook's three high houses have fallen. Esfrost's invasion took me by surprise at first, but this is quite the interesting turn. Now Wolfort stands alone, having lost both the crown and its allies. There is no better time for us to act. Then let us set the trap, brimming with bait enough to lure them in and keep them there. As you command, the famed High House of the Salt Iron War will soon be under your thumb, my lord. Having control of their land will make our deliveries that much easier. Indeed, and House End will prosper more than ever. <laughs> Brute strength is not the only path to victory. A truly wise man can win without ever drawing his sword. My lord, a bird from Sorsley End of Hyzant has arrived. He has offered to send us provisions and funds in light of our situation. A most welcome offer, to be sure, but... Why would he extend a helping hand to us now? Could he be after something? Undoubtedly, there are regrettably none so altruistic amongst the saintly seven. Seeing as Minister Sorsley has never shown much interest in other nations, I can only surmise this is a ploy to put House Wolfort in his debt. As I suspected. But our people and soldiers need all the help they can get. Let us accept his proposal. We can deal with whatever ulterior motives he may have once we are back on our feet. Understood. We shall discuss our countermeasures at another time. Congratulations on your victory in the Falk's Domain, General. Thank you, sir. They were proud warriors. And Lord Landroy a formidable foe, despite his age. I imagine he was content to breathe his last on his beloved fields. Thirty years have passed since the Salt Iron War. It was time he was put to rest beside that bygone era. Avlora. It is time you had a rest as well. What do you mean by that, Your Grace? Your soldiers have fought long and hard. Any longer and their morale may suffer for it. But what of House Wolford? Prince Roland is still with them. Is that not cause for concern? There are no lords left worth worrying about. House Wolford stands alone after Roland's uprising. Even so, we would do well not to underestimate them. Even standing alone, they once changed the course of the Salt Iron War. House Wolfort is no longer the Hunter, but the Hunted. Or do you believe you understand something that I do not, General? No. Forgive me, Your Grace. to speak to me, Your Highness? I wish to leave the Wolfort Domain. And you want me to persuade Lord Serenoa? Yes. Though I doubt he will welcome the conversation after the scales have spoken. But the people are tired. Their expressions grim. 
This castle is no different. Even so, the decision was made together. Yes. But I think we all know that I am at the source of our troubles. The responsibility ultimately falls to me. If you truly wish to take responsibility, then I do have an idea. And I would hear it. Give me that ring. But this is proof that I belong to the royal family. What would you do with it? Have you die for your people? Hey, boss! Come take a look at this! The poor soul. Or maybe not so poor, judging by these clothes. Hey, Pa! Remember what I said about that reward money? Of course I do. This might just be him. It's Roland! The corpse is regrettably too damaged to identify, but the royal signet is unmistakable. Aside from Cordelia, there is only one who would wear the royal family's ring. There can be no doubt. This is Prince Roland. S -s Excuse me, your grace, uh, but about that reward... Thallus, give them their coin. Yes, brother. Thank you kindly for your generosity, your grace. What a waste. Is this truly how the Kingdom of Glenbrook meets its end? House Wolfort are no fools. Their friend was only a liability. They have spared themselves by forsaking the Prince. They may have escaped, but there are none who would help them. There is no reason for us to concern ourselves with House Wolfort any longer. A shame. Your poor brother, betrayed by his most trusted friend. <laughs> 